Good evening. Uh, welcome to Glen Meditation. I spend about 25 years traveling around the world, going to different ashrams and different programs and healing centers. And one of the programs that I kind of been following for many years is a group called the Hare Krishnas that everybody knows, but I think they're really misunderstood. Um, I don't follow one spiritual tradition. I more go and study them. But I did learn a lot um, from the Hare Krishnas. I first stumbled across them when I was on the east coast of Australia. And um, I was kind of not rich at the time and ended up living on a farm that George Harrison had donated to the Hare Krishnas. So it was an interesting farm. It was near Mount Warning. And um, I think it was about a thousand acres. And anyhow... There was a temple on the top of the hill, and you could live there, and I think there was about 200 people living on the farm. And when I first got there, um, I was kind of not really into what they were saying, but after a while, I started to realize that a lot of the things they said had a lot of merit, and and even though I, to this day, still haven't totally brought on much of their teachings, I think I learned a lot there. And today I was going to talk about the three different modes that they talk about. Um, basically that there's the mode of ignorance, the mode of passion, and the mode of goodness. And all of us have different degrees of these modes and we can also develop or um, give more merit to one of the modes and become more like that. Basically today I was going to talk about what the mode of ignorance is. And that's um, my interpretation is a little different than their strict interpretations, but I basically see that as someone who's trying to numb themselves out. They're, they're not trying to really have a real spiritual connection. Um, what they're doing is eating bad food, um, numbing themselves out with cigarettes and toxicants, stuff like that. And we all have times like that in our life, or most of us do. So it's, it's just interesting to see that that's been talked about it for thousands of years as one of the modes of living and and it's interesting to see um, what would make us do that but to me that's when we're in, in living in our head and in believing in our thoughts and maybe we don't think there's a, a spiritual side of life we might be an atheist um, and basically the foods we eat are just, you know, like McDonald's and fast food and and there's not much of us that has any connection to anything and we might be taking lots of painkillers and doing anything like stuff like that. So that's one of the things that I learned from the Hare Krishnas, that there's three, three modes and today I was talking about the mode of ignorance and just have a think about what you see uh, in your own life with that mode coming into place and um, if you see it in others and how much you see it prevalent in the society nowadays. I know these days when I travel to work um, on the bus of the area I go into it seems like the whole part of town is infected with this and um, it's just growing like a cancer in parts of our city of Vancouver where there's just lots of people on drugs and stuff. Not that I'm calling those people ignorant uh, they've definitely been wounded in times in their life and they're trying to numb themselves out. But they're going about it, what some could say, in a short-term way that they're trying to disconnect. But um, the Hare Krishnas um, are an interesting group and their teacher was called Sri Prabhupada and he, he left um, India with very little money and ended up opening up lots of centers around the world. And um, I just pointed out as sometime if you're interested in if it's in your area, go down and have a feast with them on a Sunday night and listen to some of their teachings. Um, there's a lot to be learned there. It's it's not all bad, and they're actually quite nice people. Anyhow, that's today's report on Glenn's travels around the world. Take care. Bye-bye.